Hello friends, in this video I am going to take question number 11 of exercise 9.4 of the chapter differential equation from NCRT maths textbook class 12. So friends, the question is like this, for the differential equation given, find the particular solution. The equation is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 dy by dx is equal to 2x square plus x and further we have been given y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0. So under such condition we have to calculate the particular solution. Okay, now taking the differential equation which we have been given to us we can easily see that we can separate the variables. Okay, so it is in the variable separable form and on separating the variables first of all I can write dy by dx is equal to 2x square plus x upon x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 and further I can write dy is equal to 2x square plus x upon x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 dx okay now variables are separated now I can integrate both sides to obtain the expression like this okay now as you can see that in the left in the right hand side we have been given this bulky expression and we have to integrate it so it requires a lot of calculation so for this we are going to solve this integral separately okay now to integrate this first of all what I see here is this that the denominator is in the form of a cubic expression okay and it can be factorized so first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to factorize this expression so taking this expression x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 I take x square common from these two terms and I see that if we consider these two terms I can take x plus 1 common so I can get the factors as x square plus 1 into x plus 1 I'm going to place these factors instead of this denominator so I'm going to get the integral like this now what I see here is this that this fraction can be resolved into its partial fraction and this would make the integration possible also so I'm going to resolve this into its partial fraction so I'm going to get 2x square plus x upon x square plus 1 into x plus 1 as equal to ax plus b upon x square plus 1 plus c upon x plus 1 here I've written ax plus b because this factor is quadratic now I'm going to take the LCM of the right hand side to obtain the expression like this these denominators are going to cancel out so I'm going to get the expression or the equation like this 2x square plus x is equal to ax plus b into x plus 1 plus c into x square plus 1 okay further I'm going to multiply these terms so on multiplication this gives me x into ax ax square x into b bx and 1 into x plus b will be ax plus b and here I've opened the bracket to print cx square plus c further what I've done I've uh, separated the terms these two terms of x square are written together and taken x square common so I'm going to get ax plus c into x square similarly from these two terms I've taken x common and the two constant term b and c are written together okay now from this equation what I want I want the value of a b and c so that I can place here to, uh, to resolve this fraction into its partial fraction so what I see here is this that this term of x square has coefficient a plus c here the coefficient of x square is 2 so on comparison on comparing the coefficients I can write a plus c as equal to 2 and this I mark as equation number 1 further I can write a plus b as equal to 1 because the coefficient of x is 1 on the left hand side and a plus b on the right hand side and further I can write b plus c as equal to 0 because here there is a constant term here there is no constant term next what I'm going to do I'm going to take all these three equations and I'm going to add them okay now adding would give me 2a plus 2b plus 2c as equal to 3 or a plus b plus c is equal to 3 by 2 here I saw that all the three equations contain a, a b and c and on adding them I would have obtained 2a plus 2b plus 2c so I have added all these three equations now this would make my calculation easy because if, if I take this as equation number 4 and 
I take the other equation b plus c is equal to 0 that is equation number 3 and subtract them then I am going to get the value of a is equal to 3 by 2 b plus c is equal to 0 or uh, uh, this gives me a is equal to 3 by 2 ok now because a is equal to 3 by 2 so further I can write 3 by 2 plus c is equal to 0 from equation number 1 so I get c is equal to 1 by 2 further b plus c is equal to 0 so this means that b is equal to minus c is equal to 1 by 2 so this is how I have calculated the value of a b and c now taking the values of a b and c I am going to place here to obtain the partial fraction of this fraction so the partial fraction would be 2x of this fraction 2x square plus x upon x square plus 1 into x plus 1 would be equal to 3 by 2x minus 1 by 2 upon x square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 upon x plus 1 okay and this can be further written as 3 by 2 x upon x square plus 1 dividing the denominator separately with these two terms so I am going to get further minus 1 by 2 upon 1 plus uh, uh, upon x square plus 1 plus 1 by 2 into 1 upon x plus 1 so further I can write that integration of this fraction as equal to 3 by 2 times the integration of x upon x square plus 1 okay minus 1 by 2 times integration of 1 upon x square plus 1 dx plus 1 by 2 times integration of 1 upon x plus 1 dx okay now these two integrals can be solved very easily this can be written as tan inverse of x this can be written as log of x plus 1 but this to solve it we have to perform substitution so I am going to solve it separately so taking x upon x square plus 1 dx I assume x square plus 1 is equal to t on differentiating I am going to get 2x dx is equal to dt so I can write x dx as equal to 1 by 2 dt and for this x square plus 1 I write t so to obtain 1 by 2 times integration of 1 by 2 uh, 1 by t dt integration of 1 upon t is equal to log t so I am going to obtain 1 by 2 log of t or 1 by 2 log of x square plus 1 so this would give me 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 log of x square plus 1 or 3 by 4 times log of x square plus 1 this will be equal to minus 1 by 2 10 inverse of x plus 1 by 2 times log of x plus 1 ok now now we have solved this integral now we uh, on placing its value and placing y for integration of dy I, I am going to obtain this value y is equal to 3 by 4 times log of x square plus 1 and so on and further I have written an integral constant c after performing the integration so for this differential equation this is the journal solution ok so now to obtain the particular solution what we have to do we have to calculate the value of c for the particular value ok now here it is given that when y is equal to 1 x is equal to 0 so I am going to place x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 and this would give me the value of c and on placing the obtained value of c I am going to get the particular solution ok so y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 so this will give me 1 is equal to 3 by 4 log of 0 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 times 10 inverse of 0 plus 1 by 2 times log of 0 plus 1 plus c now 10 inverse of 0 is 0 log of 1 is 0 here log of 1 will also be equal to 0 so all these three terms are equal to 0 so I get 1 is equal to c or c is equal to 1 ok so I have calculated that c is equal to 1 and on placing the value I get the particular solution for the given differential equation so this is the required particular solution of the differential equation friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you